Hi guys, gonna make a rubber band powered car from a pop bottle, I think we could call this. This one actually had ginger beer in it, or ginger something or other. Um, so we're gonna make some holes in it for the axles to go through, cut a big area out the top so we can reach inside to connect up the rubber band to the back axle. Uh, going to use a hot glue gun, bottle tops and CDs. If you haven't got a hot glue gun then you can just as easily use sticky tape to hold the bottle caps onto the CDs. That one works fine, but because I usually use hot glue gun, I thought I would just demonstrate. So we'll do that in a minute. You will always find links in my video descriptions with additional help. But the main thing about CDs and bottle caps is the CDs have got circles on them, so you should be able to line up the bottle cap so it's in the middle. Doesn't have to be bottle cap like that. One of those will do. Off of there. These have the advantage if they've actually got a little dimple in the middle that shows you exactly where the middle is. Uh, these come off uh, fruit drink cartons. Same thing, they've got a little dimple in the middle to show you where the centre is. To make the holes, you could use a nail. I've got a tool called a braddle, which has got a nice point on it so you can poke a hole through. Or you can have a bit of wood with either a nail or a screw through it that we can heat up in a flame so it actually melts its way through. That gives you a nice hole when you melt a hole through. When you push a hole through, sometimes it splits and when you use an electric drill sometimes it splits. The other thing about the... Oh, hang on, that's my LiPo charger telling me it's charged. That's for another little project. Yeah, on these plastic bottles you will find there's a nice seam on both sides and a nice ridge round there so you can actually choose to make a hole right on the join there. I won't push this through but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that hole just there and then to keep your axles parallel you can measure along from there and if you have a felt tip pen if you measure along carefully Now, I happen to be measuring 22 centimetres here, but you can measure it to whatever you particularly want. But that is a convenient way of going straight along that line so that your wheels should, or your axles, should be parallel. So I'll be heating this up and push it straight through. A nail would be better than a screw, but I couldn't find any nails, funnily enough. So I'm going to heat that up, push it straight through right on that mark. And same there, in fact. I'll just put a mark there. So I can see where that seam is. So I'll go and do that. So we've got some nice holes in there. Barbecue skewers. And they are a nice loose fit in those holes. If they're tight, it's no good at all. Your car won't go. They've got to be a good loose fit. Right, next thing, we want a good sized hole in here. Now, I'm going to use a sharp knife. 
what I will do is I'll just draw a rough idea of what we want. Just to give me a guide. You can probably do this with scissors. If you're using a sharp knife, make sure your hand is well away from it and you're not actually cutting into the table. That knife's not as sharp as I thought it was. I think we'll be all right once we got in. Yes, we're in now. When you're coming back the other side, the temptation is to get your hand in the way. So make sure your hand's up there and you're cutting away from it. Because the other thing is, if it slips out, you might cut into your body if it flies right up. Right, so we've got plenty of room in there. So we can reach in. To save a bit of time, I've already melted some holes through these. I could have just pushed them through with my nice sharp bradle. Like that. Don't push straight into your table or you'll be in trouble. Or some of these bottle tops are so soft that you can actually push one of these through it if you can get it in there right. Yeah. So it does depend a bit on what sort of bottle top you're using. Right, we'll leave that one as it is, as a demonstration that it works, and we'll glue one of these. So, using the actual circles already on there as a guide, you can either put hot glue around there and put it on, or you can hold it in place. And put some hot glue around the edges. So you might want to consider some little spacers. These are cut from a drinking straw. These keep the wheels away from the bodywork. And depending on how much your wheels wobble, depends on how much they'll hit the bodywork, and that acts as a brake and slows it down. So I'll just use these, I don't know, they're about a quarter of an inch long now. So we'll start off with this one that's made from sticky tape. It's pretty straight. Spacer on. You still need to make sure there's a little bit of play there anyway. Still a bit too tight. Yeah, you want a little bit of sideways play.
push that through and then push that back through so it's held in place. So over the back, you're not going to see this because my hand's in the way now, over the back wrap it round so it wraps itself and holds itself in place. Right, let's have a go. This is very light so you might get wheel spin. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a rubber band powered car made from a plastic pop bottle, four CDs, eight plastic bottle caps, two barbecue skewers, and a little bit of drinking straw there. To act as spacers on all the sides. Cut a hole out the top of it so we can actually get in there. The rubber bands actually held in place with another little bit of barbecue skewer going through the front there. I demonstrated using hot glue to hold these bottle caps in place and on a previous video I showed you, you could just use sticky tape. It does the same thing. We've also talked a little bit about wheel spin and my least favourite way of curing it by putting rubber bands round. It makes, makes them bounce around because it's an uneven surface and these tend to come off as you're going along or drop inside and get caught up on your axle. So I don't like that way of doing it. simple way is just put some weight in the bottom there. There's plenty of room there, just put some weight in there couple of dead batteries or something or other and the extra weight will hold the back wheels on the ground or you can cut up a balloon into a strip and cut straight across the balloon into a cut it into strips and stretch them round the outside or I like to use old rubber gloves washing up gloves because they're a thicker rubber and they make really good tires and there will be links in the video description on how to do that. I've got a rubber band power channel called Put a Rubber Band on it. I'll publish this video on that channel and I'll publish a shorter version on my main channel just so people can see it and if they want to see the full build then they can go to the other channel, the Put a Rubber Band on it channel.